Hello and good evening, everyone. I welcome you all to the COVID 19 one event, COVID 19 week of the Central Delhi Toastmasters Club. Good evening, everyone. I'm Sophia Fitcher and I'm the speaker of Sajid in Arms for today's meeting. Well, I'm again going to remind you all about the mission of our club. The mission of our club is to provide a supportive and learning environment in which members are empowered to provide supportive and learning environment in which members are empowered to. Sorry, the mission of our club is to provide a supportive and learning environment in which members are empowered to communicate leadership skills. Deciding in favor of self confidence and personal growth. Uh, without further ado, I would like to call upon the president of our club. Uh, before calling him on the stage, uh, I just want to uh, share a short story. Uh, just like in any corporate or any business or any startup, we always need a leader who actually helps the team grow, uh, let the lead the team. Similarly, here, uh, we have close calls to Kanyu, who's really helped us in uh, keeping the team together, in uh, helping each one of us go, always encouraging us. And as I mentioned earlier, also we have a dynamic personality and the visionary of uh, the class. And uh, with this, I would like to call him on the stage. Close calls to Kanyu. Good evening, good evening, good evening, everyone. How are you doing today? Great. Great. Are we excited? Yes. yes. Well, welcome to the Toastmasters and guests to the 491 first meeting of Central Lady Toastmasters. I hope you're having a good day. If you're not, don't worry, it's a beautiful evening time for you all. With that being said, let's take 30 seconds of silence. Thank you. So, if I don't do more masters in future studies ever, the exams that I'm currently giving in my college are going to be the last exam of my life. And there's a really interesting feeling about giving your last exam. You give your best, or just like all the other exams in your life, you give your best. video perhaps. But this time, when I did my exam, when I was preparing for my life, Toastmasters, yes. Toastmasters, yes. I, I was surprised. I had prepared not very well, to be honest, for my life. And when I was presented, I was called upon the stage with my teacher standing beside me, asking me questions which I kind of knew the answers to. I was a bit nervous, but I started answering those questions. I realized that this is just like giving a presidential address, but with appropriate and relevant context. So I started talking about the content and the math that my man was asking. And soon, somewhere down the line, I shifted. This is like a table topics. I shifted to some a place where she had no idea what I was talking about. But by that time, she was so engrossed in what was happening. She had somewhere lost track of what question was asked. And while this might be helpful for me, because I completely got full marks in my viva. It might not work out for you very really well if you are doing this in front of your boss. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is that this play was this particular moment where I realized that giving presentation at this point might not have helped me prepare very well for the content, but has made me so comfortable on stage that I realized that it's okay. It's okay to talk to people and make them lose their content or the topic and somewhere on the line still keep them. Attracted and engrossed in the conversation. Well, with that being said, I will now like to call upon the guests of the stage. We have guest fifties yesterday. Guest fifties, would you please come on stage? Tell us who you are, what you do, and how did you come about those masks? Guest fifties. Hello, everyone. My name is Shifty. Uh, I'm not new to those masters, but I have 
never gathered the courage to join it as a full time member. I have always been scared. This time in my book, it's known uh, the same by the Indian and over again. So I work as a section officer in Minister of Defense. And uh, I have done my bachelor's from ITW and uh, master's from the school of economics. I may be a pretty older community involved by, but yeah, uh, there is no best age to learn, and uh, we need to keep going with it uh, from wherever we are, right? Uh, hope to see you around. That's it. Yes, sir, please do not hope, believe that we are going to be members of this club. <laughs> Do we have any guests on the virtual stage? Am I audible? Yes, Postmaster, we audible. Yes, so we have guests on Vesh on the virtual stage. Also, also, uh, it's a request to anyone who's coming to on the physical stage. Could they come closer to the speaker so that the virtual audience can hear them as well? All right, we we'll look into that. Uh, yes, Anvesh, please unmute yourself. Open your camera. Tell us who you are, what did you do, and how did you come to know about those marks? Yes, Anvesh on the virtual stage. <laughs> Hello everyone, am I audible? Yes, yes, Anvesh audible. Okay, uh, thank you everyone. Uh, this is Anvesh. I'm from Odisha. Uh, and uh, since uh, since my uh, matriculation days, I am quite uh, intrigued and I'm quite involved with debating and uh, orating uh, uh, events. And throughout my uh, law school days, I took part in various events and by the uh, grace of God and by my sincere efforts, I own them also. Some were first, second, third, everything I got. So what is the main thing is I like to talk. And that is why after uh, three or four months of uh, becoming a law graduate and completing my uh, college degree, I looked up on Google one fine night and I came across uh, Central Delhi Toastmasters and to be honest, I am totally new to it. I don't know about uh, much about the Toastmaster and all this you guys are doing. So I called upon the first number that I could get and uh, thanks to you that you let me in as a guest. So this is all uh, I have to say. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, so, so far, so good. So that's all. Thank you. Thank you, Kirsten. Our Toastmaster today would be giving you an entire briefing of the meeting for you to get an idea of what this meeting consists of. Do we have any other guests on the virtual stage? No, we don't. We do not. All right then. Without any further ado, I would like to now like to call upon the Toastmaster of today on the stage. Let us welcome our Toastmaster. Perspectives of those masters, perspectives of those masters, perspectives of those masters. Thank you so much, Mr. President. How many of you have seen the fan? The fan. Just a hint. That's it. Here. Why is it? 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 Why who follow it like a fan everywhere? Yes, uh, a normal person coming from a, a middle class house, ambitions are very high that he might meet his uh, the best actor in the world, his idol, or he want to characterize himself like him. I saw some as cosmetics in this. Do you guys see some cosmetics in this? Yes. 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 Yes.
Like for example, there there was a fan. So people, they can see the board. There was a fan X in a certain year. I want you to pay attention on this. This is really important. And there was an actor in a certain year, actor Y. The fan liked the actor very much. You know, that fan was too much beauty into the actor. He wanted to become like that actor. Wanted to be appearance of the actor. He wanted to be like that actor. So what can we do to become someone? What can you do to become someone? Like a facial experience. Do we need this? Cosmetics. Fair and lovely and all those in the market juggling around. We can beautify you, but they cannot. They can beautify your outer skin. They cannot beautify the internal substance. That fan had a plastic surgery from thousands of times. Just want to become like this actor. And this is the real story. I'm not going to reveal the name of the actor or the fan. Eventually, that fan becomes just like the actor. That comes with the story or not? Yes or no? Yes. No. Yes. That fan became the face of that actor. That fan did not become that actor. That, that, that fan did not acquire the traits or the characteristics of that actor. The actor had beautiful heart, beautiful mindset. He was polite, but the fan was very arrogant. Fan did not even have one percent. One person of the actor. So what what is the crux of this this theme? What is what is the crux of this story? What do we learn from this? Anyone can raise a hand. Yes, sir, please. Don't buy things that face value. Don't buy things that face value. Okay. Anyone else? Yes. We need to focus on the real soul. What is in it rather than the outer appearance? Absolutely. The effort. The fan was putting the effort at the wrong wrong thing. Putting the effort at the face. Not changing his heart, not changing his mindset. Then we are Toastmasters, right? Are we doing the same, or are we become a cosmetic Toastmaster? You know, we we gather every week in this room to learn something. You know, to ditch the odds that we were something. And like for example, when I came to this room for the first time, I was very shy and nervous guy. And there were five or six people, you know, counseling. I should do this, and do that, and do this, and do that. They become like this, they become like that. They actually put their traits into my. They try to put their traits into mine, but I did not acquire it. So that is cosmetic. I will make myself and alone make myself within you guys, because sharing of knowledge comes from the people, not from the two three individuals putting the banking on you. The characteristics that I acquired to remove all my anxiety and nervousness of speaking—that that's a long process, and that is not cosmetic. Which is a remarkable thing, you know. People come into this room and think that we we might get change or we might get do this, we might do this, and eventually they they stick to the cosmetics. They start thinking we can get 500 of speeches, become we will become a good person master. We we'll do 500 of evaluations. We come. We become area director. We become division director. We go to district. We become the best of it. No, are you showing up? So this person here about my goodness. Somebody please speak out his name loud and clear, crystal clear. Can somebody please speak out his name? Deepak Nayan. No. DTM Deepak Nayan. No. Deepak Nayan. No. No. Full name. No. Distinguished Toastmaster Deepakman. The word distinguished is very important, not just the short form. You have to say it out to the loud. This person is still finding a lot in Toastmasters. Recently concluded a conclave at the Nashville, United States of America. He told the reporter that it's been 21 years since I'm a Toastmaster. And there are a lot of people come to this fraternity and they join for one year and that's it, we have done. We become a good house master, we have, we have become the district director, we become DT and that's it. Five years down the line, we have done it. Is. This person is still finding a lot. How come this person is still finding a lot? When a DVM has left the house master, five years back. Within five years, this is the, the, everything. But this person is 21 years old in this fraternity, is still finding it. What is he finding? What is finding? We just have these roles, 11 roles in the meeting. That's it. We have nothing else. 
If there is no club, there is no area, there is no area, there is no division, there is no division, there is no district, there is no international president or guard or governor region, there is nothing. So, what can we learn from these roles? Today, I am not going to introduce the role pair, not the officers, role pair, not the speakers, not the directors. You will come here, you will introduce yourself, and you will let us all know that what time or what language you are little has the value addition in your in your profession that you have joined this club. What timer is giving you? You are doing the timer from a lot of time, you think any from say or three or four, four months. What has given you till now? Or are you becoming a cosmetic just coming to this meeting to our business for the completion of the meeting? Mm -hmm. You know, we are spending <coughs> 55 hundred for two hours for this room. 275 rupees per person. I'm going to ask somebody, so much can yes. you give me 275 rupees? Yes. Why? Uh, Why? I will yes. ask you, give me 275, you will just give me. You won't ask why do you need 275, what you will do, when you will, when you will okay. return to me. On that difference, yeah. Yes, you will ask me. Are we doing questions of self by learning in two hours worth 275 rupees? You know, if you give this much amount of money to a beggar out there, month, it absolutely take a month to fulfill his needs for the 275 rupees. It's a lot. And the 5500, my goodness, have we done justice to our role or ourselves as a member or as executive committee? Are we doing that or not? Or we just become cosmetic to those not? Well, let us call the role players. Let's see what can they do with this, with their role, what can they do with creativity with their role, or what have they learned from the role. So let us call upon the first auxiliary role player. Uh, this is Toastmaster Daniel. Please come up here. Toastmaster Daniel, you have to introduce yourself, your profession, and you have to say out how timer in Toastmasters can help you grow as your career, in your career. Okay, I am Daniel, uh, Toastmaster. Many people are now aware of I'm for the past three weeks. Okay, I am a professional, I am an engineer in government service. Uh, okay, now uh, regarding uh, the, <coughs> regarding my role, okay, so regarding time. So, I am coming to his perspective, what he expects from me. We all are spending, a, everybody are coming, yeah, everybody will be, some persons are studying, some persons are working, and we still find some time to come here. Okay, so we are all dedicating some two hours of our precious time here. So the importance of my role is that means if the, there is some means for, I mean some discipline for everything, and if if we are uh, sticking to the discipline, we are not only saving our time but everybody's time, everybody's precious time. So. For that, there are some systems. Uh, everybody will be aware, but still, uh, for the uh, prepared speakers, it is five minutes. It is the green, green one, and this yellow card. Uh, yeah, it resembles a football match. Uh, are are anybody matching the game? Yeah. Yellow yellow card is for six minutes, and seven is red card. In football, uh, if you if red card is shown. <laughs> you have to go out, but here it is not like that. There is some question also, so some 30 minutes buffer time is there for one one minute for the main speaker. And for the table talk, it is <coughs> for the table talk uh, topic speaker, it is one minute green card, 1.5 minutes yellow, and two minutes red. And uh, the speech evaluator, it's two minutes for green card. 2.5 for yellow, yellow, and three for the red. Okay, fine. and thank you, thank you for your wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. For the prepared speech, it is five to seven minutes for the speaker. For the evaluator, it is two to three minutes. And yes, that is it.
timer there was uh, in year 2015 the region governor of uh, district uh, of region 13 in which our district belongs so there was any international conflict i don't know, i don't remember the city it was so it will be in india there was a question asked to the regional governor what is this timer role has important in your life what is this uh, coming out there and speaking out the time for the speakers time for the evaluators what value is it giving to yourself that is a very good question coming out on the stage think out the time by to 7 minutes 2 to 3 minutes i will present my report at the evaluation segment what i am getting i am just noting down the time for the other per other person no in meetings you get to learn that speaking quality content in a given frame of time you are learning that you are learning critical skills you are reporting you are evaluating someone that has to be that is very important thing an evaluator the general evaluator has to consider that you are being critical you have the right to disqualify other the speaker and you are letting out your points note that you have to speak in that given frame of time that has to be quality content this is this is what we are learning as a speaker as in from to speak on the table topic and as a prepared speaker now we have the next one is language evaluator i am a call language evaluator for master kanal from the stage so <laughs> master kanal what does language evaluator has important in the general those master meeting and in your life So, that is it. We have a word of the day. Yeah. So, what is that? Circuitary. Circuit. Circuitary. Come on. Uh, share with us about uh, your role and also about the existing word of the day that I am using. So, some guy advised me if you have a bad english use this word <laughs> <laughs> who is that person <laughs> like i'm no longer a circuitarian <laughs> that was he said to say so <laughs> and the idiom of the day is leave in the uh, lurches which is to desert somewhere Okay, one. Thank you. The hurdles in a hurdle race. The hurdles are like breaking of a conscious and a fluent flow of English. When you pass a hurdle, you pass successfully. Jump on the hurdle. Eventually, you will win the race. But if you fall upon, the crux situation is that. is breaking in that in that fluency of the english correct use of english correct use of words where to fit in where to not fit in that has a very important role in course master meeting and for the person himself taking out the notes of the speaker whether they are speaking well or not they are speaking correct or not if they are yes they are speaking say out that appreciate them yes you have yes, you have spoken really good word of the day has to be I'm not going to pronounce. Do you think someone pronounces word of the day? Alright. Now I have a situation uh, like uh, I remember the time when my grandmother named me, and now <laughs> I have sympathy towards those people who first tried to pronounce my name. <laughs> Alright, let us move. God bless their soul. Let's move further. Do don't we have our counter today? Uh, our counter language value of being as one. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I want a volunteer to explain what is our counter. Can someone want to say something? Raghav, would you like to volunteer? Please. Come. What our counter has important? So the our counter rules. Even I have not done this show once. <laughs> Since I have joined joined the Toastmasters club, but I have felt that during 
at the time we communicate there are certain sounds or words which we use frequently which break the flow of the communication which just leads to this interest of that communication between those two persons so our counter helps to give guidance that how much how many times the sound and the word is spoken so that the speaker can go on it uh um in uh, uh another hurdle in the break of the fluency right very simple very simple solution which is just speak slowly gradually <laughs> you become a champion or just like this is so smart the people man i haven't i haven't heard our um some say other speak since an year or since i joined so next we have a parliamentarian those must be gone thank you sir for taking all the glitches and the problems i believe that for an organization to function biggest hurdle is in the form of human and for that matter generally we create disruption in the meeting knowing the unknown as a parliamentarian it is my job to note down the orderly as well as disorderly conduct of the meeting the points which we have to follow but we didn't but points which we had to follow and we followed marvelously not those masters has helped me with this role and this role has also helped me in life because i will just quote a simple example although examples are far greater than this you might have seen those fights in rwas happening in a full blown manner the camaraderie happening in parliament and many other places so it helped me be vigilant about these rules that how we can conduct any proceeding in a proper manner not as uncivilized animals but as civilized human beings because that's what human civilization has been working across so many years so first rule that i will among other rules i will be noting is that doors should be closed apart from that everyone who is entering as well as exiting the door shall be exiting or entering when the applause is happening no cross talk are happening throughout the meeting as well as we should be using parliamentary language since toastmasters international as a new signifies is an international organization and we should adhere to a gentleman or gentlewoman behavior What postmaster Dikan just has spoken is an inspiration for all of us. What he has gained from the role, what he has achieved as a value addition in his life, just spread out that we all should reach at that level where the roles are become integral part of our life. Timer should become integral part of our life. Our counter, language evaluator, the parliamentarian, the listener too. Do we have a listener? Oh, maybe we don't have a listener. Uh, some of one of us can. Yes, anyone wants to become a listener? Okay, I can yes. pick up that. Yes, I just want to love you. Talking about what uh, the particular role helps me in my personal life. So I I generally zone out during conversations like I did in, uh, initially during the meeting when I was supposed to say no but I said yes in fact loudly so yes this particular role actually helps me to concentrate when the speaker is saying because it happens with me no matter how uh, great the communicator is or how engage how engaged he keeps the audience i still zone out in between so this reminds me of uh, like concentrating uh, in the person speech so that's 
Thank you. Thank you. Uh, has a very important role. The is going to ask questions to you all in the evaluation segment. Whatever is happening in the meeting, there will be two, three, or five crux points which you have to remember. And the listener will test your listening skill. If you listen it correctly or not. And there will be good questions. I hope you all should answer. You should all, all, you should all be able to answer the question. <coughs> Next up, we have a joke master. Let us have some laughter. Come on, joke master. Joke master, so cracking jokes is a critical part of communication, I believe. Because while we communicate, it is an element which is like a spice which just makes an communication really interesting. I saw the name of Virat Kohli here and I remembered in one of his interviews, like cracking joke can be helpful for ice breaking with someone, which he did with Anushka Sharma. <laughs> So I learned that if I want to ice fix or make someone comfortable, that's a joke. <laughs> so yeah, coming back to my role. So today I'm going to tell some talks about one of my father's friends who has a great sense of humor, or I should say dark sense of humor. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> yeah. So in my father's friend group, there were four people. At one point of time, two of the friends lost their parents. On the other hand, the other two, two parents were still alive. And in those two, one of the people were the uncle I'm talking about and one another person. So four of them met at one of their parents' funeral and four of them were sitting together and the uncle I am talking about, he told to the other person whose parents were still alive, he said <laughs> the gender, we should be ashamed of ourselves. He was like, why are you saying that? He said, you know what, these two have called us two times, but we haven't called them one single time. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm doing this. <laughs> Let me tell you another scenario. He went to one of his other friend's children and there he met his friend's cousin, whom he knew for a long time. And for some time they talked and she told him, visit the Saturday help be IIJ, which means please give a visit to our house as well. To which he replied, Yeah, sure. As my, as my friend gave me an occasion, I visited him. Just like that, you gave me an occasion, I will visit you. She was like, okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, that's all from my side. So he had a very encouraging joke. Me off, me Jokes, uh, joke master has a very significant role in the joke master strategy. We have humorous speech contest. <clears throat> Last year I tried my uh, tried a speech and humorous speech contest, not in this district, not in this district, but in some other district as we were in COVID the uh, lockdown period so I went online. Uh, I didn't have a very good time at that. But what signify what what signifies joke master? A friend of mine in college, during our college of placement season who was going on. And during the HR round, so HR asked that my friend, can you make us laugh? Sir, what kind of question is this? I'm here for a software engineer job. I'm not, I'm not a comedian. The manager will get bored from you. Will you be able to make him laugh or not? All right. Joke master. We're learning jokes here. We will crack up in the corporate world. Yes. Uh, you can ask any of the corporate employees. If you go in the in the corporate world, the manager demands the jokes from you because so much of you know the the high get so much of exert is there, so much of trouble is there. You need a bit of time out, a day out, and your manager will definitely ask jokes from you. 
So this is what joke master signifies. Signifies. I think we're done with the auxiliaries. Let us bring upon the speakers. The first speaker today we have Toastmaster Ankit Sena, a veteran Toastmaster. But before calling Toastmaster Ankit, uh, I will call his evaluator, Toastmaster Ritwik. May I the speak of the speaker? So long back I have left this habit of being a successful battalion, but surely today's uh, date of when we are uh, deserted in some forms or lot, or maybe we are left in the lurch. I have taken on some common uses to make my communication very simple. Well, today we have another patron, I would say a veteran of this club, who comes up here on the stage, Mr. Arkit Sina, giving his L1 people's speech, the first speech, with the past rate, engaging humor, and the project title being evaluation and feedback, the purpose being simply present a speech and receive feedback. But there is an interesting part to it. The part is, he has no speech title. And my job as an evaluator, after having a conversation, personal conversation with him, was that I will be giving him an impromptu speech, which he got to speak. It's pretty interesting. But before I tell my topic, timer, please note the green card aspiration at the end of five minutes, yellow card at the end of six minutes, and the red card at the end of seven minutes, with a buffer time of 20 minutes on both of them. Now, can I just hear out what is the meaning of? Leave in the lunch once more. Anything else? Anything else? Sit in. Take me someone. I hope the meaning is pretty clear. So the topic is when you were left in the lunch. When you were left in the lunch, the subject. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much. And good evening, fellow Toastmasters. Though I do not know what the meaning of lurch when you will leave in the lurch, but from a sentence it can be created, can be presumed that when you are all alone and no one is out there to help you out, it's something similar to that. So, let's, uh, if we talk about our life, it's Toastmaster journey or another journey. But before I talk about my sentiment or my thought about it, anyone has any idea about this uh, phrase, title, or thing that has been presented by my evaluator? Could be Raghav or Arvind. Any idea? What does it mean? Uh, the thing which is that uh, leaving somebody alone. Leaving somebody alone? Yes. Anyone else? Uh, my first, the first slide that I had. First slide that I had. Break up. Break up. <laughs> That's a very interesting. You know, man, break up. Yeah. You just leave. Actually, all the sentences that we use, all the ideas that we use in our life have two kinds of meaning. One, that's called literal meaning. Living in the life, that means you are all alone. Let's say, could be a room, could be lift, deserted place, could be anything. When you are literally alone. Symbolic meaning. When so many people are out there, but you do not know how to interact with them. You are so lonely inside. It happens with us in our daily life. Maybe we are in metro or in some other place. We can utilize this thing in two ways. Either presuming that no one is talking with me, what should I do in this at that time? Or we can have an introspection. We can listen to something, we can do something, something productive. What I have started was whenever I travel from metro or from other place, someone told me that you can help listen podcast. Good. I tried to search it out on Google. Some Google podcast is there. And there is a person named called Rob Dyle. Rob Dyle is a very famous speaker. When I was listening to him today morning, what he was saying, the content was simply very interesting. He was saying that uh, no matter what we are doing, if we are creating any impact, if our acts are creating any impact, then our actions are too good. Because these days is a generation of uh, getting viral. Anything can, be, can, can become viral. Viral is a fever also. 
but yeah. if we are doing something by creating any meaning by our action that is the actual meaning of that just coming now on to the main point that living in the lurch living all alone right my suggestion is to you that always try to introspect just take out the 5 minutes do not just throw away your mobile phone go to your balcony or some other place have a deep introspection into introspection what i have done today anything any meaningful activity that i have done whether i have given my metro speed to some needy person or i have just increased the screen my mobile phone i just pretending that i know not saying so these things are actually happening so living in the lurch or living alone mentally gives you time to introspect to time to think upon so we need to understand this in a symbolic way rather than a literal because the more we go deeper then we reach to ourselves because there i have also read one book there is journey within you want to go outside you need to go inside how we can go outside there is one famous author some scholar named sashri and we are talking about the same thing what was mentioning that um, what he was the i you know i am unable to recall the exact thing but uh, the his, his main goal was some way related to affirmation like if you say that i am a doing good in this thing then you can do good and i have tried this thing in my actual meeting post initially i have a idea that that person is saying that you are thinking that you will become a genius how can you become a genius just by thinking it actually works yesterday only uh, i got call from one of my directors he was quite angry with me he was saying uncle you were supposed to do something you were supposed to appoint some other person was as a one of the director effective from two months ago i sent you an email but you didn't respond just come tomorrow and explain yourself that was a little like explain yourself i had two options to become a panic or just go deeper and try to find some because solutions are always inside there is no solution outside you need to find out inside solution. because only person can understand you is yourself not your name but the thought the intellect that you have so what i did i tried to just implement that affirmation technique i thought just one simple line today that director gave me apologize to me because i must have sent something to him and he is going to tell me that like, this was not my mistake this was not your mistake but was mine and fortunately when i reached office today at 2 o'clock when he called me in chamber he was in no no kid that was not finalized i sent you something but i sent you some other mail in which it was mentioned that you don't need to action on this one universe power work so if you are thinking about becoming an ias or some prestigious job just try to become that first become inside then you will become outside so again coming back to the main topic living in the lurch living all alone that means to introspect to talk about yourself as much as you can and as hard as you can and be specific in your point not just a day living kind of thing and just putting a lead and watching some web series okay that's all from my side back to our discussion राघव वॉट वट टॉक अबाउट टू यूर इवेल्युएटर और युअर मेंटर Like you have to tell me, but you couldn't tell me on the page. Is there anything that we can? 
that same thing like that yeah that is also encouraging yeah so much are you going to say yeah uh, i will be more than in the most thing about that <laughs> that's it that's how okay. wonderful uh, yes so much thank you sir sometimes i ask if i notice some out of the work box commendation or recommendation then i actually meet them and try ask them ways how can i can work around that so just the corrective measures how actually this thing can be corrected sometimes not always but corrective measures you know you guys are heading towards the extent excuse the me excuse me those master darshan i am interrupting you guest anvesh is also raising hand guest anvesh uh, yes guest anvesh please go ahead uh thank you sir uh i uh, during my initial days or somewhere uh, even sorry when i don't uh, get a chance to um, interact with other participants like in uh, google mode or something like that i there are ins instances that i have called the evaluators and i have called the uh, participants personally those who have own or uh, obviously and uh, uh, when we were uh, there were events in physical mode i have also asked the evaluators uh, their journey as to what made them uh, judge this event uh, i remember this one instance uh, some uh, noted uh, personality uh, sorry uh, some noted officer from district some administration was there and i went to him and i asked sir what was your uh, uh, what what was your efforts and what made you uh, sorry how did you become this officer so uh, in short i asked about both the things about my personal evaluation i asked about their journey in their life i also praised the other uh, participants so this is how i ask them absolutely we have to consider ourselves as a comprehensive you all of you those who have raised hand and those who have spoken you all have the quality and intent of this one and let you know what is that and all those all those in the later in the, in the meeting Let us welcome our second speaker. Our second speaker is Sushma Sir Rashmi Tripathi from the Virtual State. And uh, before Sushma Sir Rashmi can go ahead, we uh, call upon the on the stage uh, the elected Sushma Sir Arvind Chowdhury to speak up briefly. Thank you very much, uh, Nose Master of the Day. Good evening, fellow Nose Masters, friends, and guests. Uh, evaluation is something that I I really uh, consider the most important uh, thing to learn for me because it, it's always hard to tell somebody what to do and to make sure that person would take it in a positive manner and that's what I have uh, I'm I'm learning through the Nose Master journey here. So today I have the privilege to uh, to 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 play a role of uh, uh, Rashmi Sikri uh, to. Play the role of a speech evaluator for Rashmi Sikri, who is one of the finest speaker in our class, and who is going to deliver a speech title "Is Fat Always Right?" It's a very intriguing and engaging topic. "Is Fat Always Right?" She will be delivering her project to level two speech today, uh, and her project title is "Connect with Your Audience: Pathways Innovative Planning." Time, please note she would be getting five to seven minutes. And when to show red green card, red green yellow card, I'll leave it up to you. So I'm really excited uh, for the speech title. I wish to uh, Master Rashmi Sikri best of luck, and her speech title is "Is That Always Right?" Over to you, Master. Thank you, Master. Uh, I didn't read the topic. Can someone repeat the topic? What was the topic? It's fat always right. It's fat always right. Yes. All right. So, Mr. Rashmi is sad always right. Is sad always right. So, Mr. Rashmi Sikri from the virtual stage. Good evening, Sedite Mites and respected guests here on virtual stage as well as in physical room. Dear friends, 
In the past 22 years of my teaching experience, I have seen children changing every now and then. That is, for generations, we have observed that the behavior of the children has changed from time to time. As teachers, we have been lucky to see the changes occurring among the children and accept them. We had also adopted some of the good changes that we had noticed among the children. But post-corona, my dear friends, post-corona, there have been some changes among the children, among the students, which are beyond uh, uh, acceptance. Well, let me start by telling you about the first change that we have observed. Obsession for mobiles. Yes, obsession for mobiles among the students. We have read it umpteen number of times, the bats. We have told them not to bring mobiles to the premises. It's not required. We have the mobiles, we'll provide them. The reception, there they have the phone, they can use it. But no, they have become addicted to it. In spite of being told not to use the mobile, not to bring the mobile to the schools, they have used so many strategies. Hide the mobile inside their socks or hide it in their vehicles or one, the cleverest one. They would hide it in the bag of the younger ones. The child who is studying in third, fourth or fifth class and use it as per their convenience. But my dear friends, we are also teachers. We have also been amongst them for so long. We catch them every time. But when caught, when reprimanded, when scolded, as well as counsel, they argue. They argue with impunity. Yes, they are not ashamed. They are not sorry. And one more thing that, have, that they have adopted is they use abusive language. Not only for friends, not only while they are conversing in playground, but for the teacher who takes action against them. Abusive language. Yes, my dear friends, this is the second concern that I want to share with you. It has become part and parcel of children's language. The youngsters who are sitting here, like Navya, Ritwik, Pradyum, etc., and the elders who may be parents who are sitting here, listen to me carefully. It, the, not only boys are using the abusive language as was seen in our society earlier, but the girls are rubbing shoulders with boys and they are trying to use this abusive language fluently and that too shamelessly. Even after being counseled so much, they don't know when they use it because it has become the order of the day. But for us, it has become a great concern. So first of all, before proceeding further, I would like to request the youngster sitting here. May I request dear Navya to share her opinion. What is the reason you think that slangs have become the order of the day amongst the children, amongst the students? Can you please go ahead? <laughs> So I've also thought about this to a lot because like I, uh, if I talk about myself, it's not in my plan to use abusive language more frequently. Uh, and I just don't understand the reason. If you talk to, if I talk to, uh, to my friends about this, so the reasoning that they give is that you don't take the meaning literally. But if you do, so I just don't understand the meaning. Why is it not that if you, if you, if we talk normally, we take everything so seriously, all words. 
then why are not these things taken seriously? I have friends here who are laughing at me. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I'm laughing at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, 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 yeah. Like,
you have to keep this in mind and from this meeting and from the other meeting too you have to evaluate the speech you have to keep out the points or points to ponder for the speaker that he or she may get to make make himself or herself enhanced in the quality all right so let us call those master blessing this was speech cycle learning 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 those master blessing i was recently message or text by someone today that you have to take your speech today and that happened well just two hours before the start of the meeting what an amazing day isn't it yeah <laughs> feeling confident after giving your exam today you are someone asked you to give your speech today i said why not why not go up on the stage come up on the stage as a president give an amazing beginning remark and embarrass myself completely in the speech why not So I took this opportunity with no topics on hand. I came over here. I wrote a few things. I specifically wrote my learning. When I became the president, I had no idea. I had no idea of leadership. I had even no idea of coming on stage and talking. So from that moment onwards till this date, I took up some learning. I took up how to become a better public speaker, but at the same time, how to become a better conversationalist. Because a public speaking format is something which is always very formal. You are always commanding or dictating or speaking to a lot of people. But what happens when you talk one to one? What happens in our conversation when that conversation is not formal? It is more on a friendly level. It is more informal. It is more one to one. It is more intimate. What happens then? So today I would be giving my speech on the transformation on that journey. But I would require help from every one of you. If in case I start to up and do fall unconscious, please report me to the hospital. <laughs> If in case I run out of topics, I would be asking you for some topics. Just give me some random topics. I'll try to give my speech on that. If in case I am out of words, if you know that particular word that could fill it, I would love it. I would request everyone to give me that word that I am missing in that word. So with that being said, let us start. The first day when I came on stage, the first day. So it must have been they called me up to give my table topic speech, and I was like, no, I'm not prepared for this. I am not at all prepared for this. I just did my first offline table topic meeting. What is this happening? I came up on the stage. I spoke for my speech, and did not. I don't even remember what was it called. Yes, that is the triviality of that first speech. I went back home, and I was like, what is that feeling that you come on the stage? What is that feeling? What is that moment when you see everything? That is anxiety, and I took a different approach to anxiety. So whenever in my life I am confused with something which I don't understand, I go very deep into it to understand what it is. And I don't know if you know all of this, but I have a fact for you. We are programmed to be anxious. We are programmed biologically. To be anxious. Now let us take a very interesting theory. I want you to imagine two monkeys, Anto and Boba. Anto and Boba are two monkeys. These are monkeys of very very prehistoric times, back when evolution was nothing, back when we were all monkeys. Anto is a very confident monkey. Anto does not fear anything. Anto thinks if you hear a rabble in the bush, you go ahead and see what it is. And to think that if you hear some loud noise in the sky, it is not the thunder; it is what the ghost talking to you. Mm -hmm. And to is fearless, but and to gets scared. And to listen to the rumble in the bush to see what it is, and to go out there in curiosity, that's a tiger, and that's a tiger. <laughs> and to does not believe, and to believes that he is a confident and a brave person, and to goes on the top of a tree to see what the god is saying, and to dies of light. Throughout the history, throughout evolution, any brave person, any confident personality, be it the leader of a group, be it an animal who is confident or who shows signs of non-anxiety or bravery, has been distinguished, has been extinguished. That's the point. Whereas, whereas Boba, Boba who used to fear, Boba who used to be scared of the trouble in the bushes, Boba who used to be scared of the lightning, was the one who survived. And we humans are, through natural selection, the best set of the genes that we have in the world. 
So do not worry. Anxiety is not a disease. Anxiety is not something that is a flaw or a good. It is by nature who we are. Anxiety is the only thing that has helped us survive for generations and generations through the immediate days of the world. So anxiety is good. But we need to realize that the world that we are living in right now, anxiety has no role in that. The world where Anto lived, where he died, anxiety had a major role in that. And that is what we are programmed to believe. But in this, in this day and age, coming to public, coming to a stage and speaking, the anxiety that we get in that moment that people will judge us, that has no consequence. It will not get us killed. People judging us will not get us killed. People blaming us, people making fun of us, the world is possible to see people ostracizing us or shunning us away from the society won't get us killed because there will be other people to accept us. The beauty of internet that we are living, the beauty of the age that we are living in today, that we have internet, we will always, always and always find people and communities where we belong. We will always find people who are ours. Even if we are ostracized and shunned away from the community or from the major and mass population. And that is why it is very important to be fearless. It is very important to do what you fear. If you are in your 20s or 30s or whatever age, use your shame, insecurities, and your fear as a guiding compass. You do not know what to do in life. Use your shame, your fear, and your insecurity. Make a list. Make a list of everything that scares you, be it talking to people, be it talking to girls, be it going ahead and making a big negotiation, be it something as simple as going out and saying hello to someone. Make a list of that things. And for your sake, for your sake, remove all the stupid things. Remove all the stupid things that come from building, remove all the stupid things from each other, remove all the stupidity. And then, then go ahead and do it. Because I am telling you, you won't get killed. That is what your mind is telling you. The moment you go out, the moment you say hello, the moment you embarrass yourself in public, that is the end of your life. Don't do not believe your mind. The world is changing. The world we are living in right now has changed completely. And your fear, your insecurity, your shame facing them will only make you a better person at the end of the day. With that being said, thank you. Let us say the leader of the institution for all of us. And leader of this, leader of the Indian cricket team in the past, Virat Kohli, was inspiration for others. And the leader of our club is also an inspiration for us. For us. Yes. Thank you for coming with a very beautiful topic of foundation by natural selection. So that is a very scientific topic, and I enjoyed it and your story also. Thank you. Even the founder of Toastmasters International, Dr. Raj Singh Smedley, once said that a, a person should not give a speech like the person is giving a speech. A person should give a speech like the person is talking to the audience. So our speaker today talks to us, the audience. That's why we would say the leader is an inspiration. It is leading by the example. I just had a thought in my mind. I, I recalled this year in February before the international speech contest, which was on March 1st. If I if my memory is good, uh, I attended a speech marathon before that, which was an unofficial. There were five DPMs were there giving the speech. And I got so anxious and so nervous that giving the speech in front of five DPMs. I won that speech marathon. I couldn't believe in my eyes. I called our past president, was Mr. Karan Veer, those of you know. I told him that, bro, I just beat the DPMs today. <laughs> <laughs> I was so happy and you know, jumping on my feet. He said, Bro, on the even day, if you inspire the audience, doesn't matter if that person is the GTM or any of the big person, if you have inspired the audience, you will definitely want to win. And my confidence was like skyrocketed. It was on the 17th or 18th sky. And till then, I haven't looked back. 
but then in another club in any in, in a, uh, another online meeting there was a person a newbie i got up as a new toastmaster i spoke with the same confidence that i spoke in the speech marathon and the new toastmaster won the speech won the won in that meeting i got zero votes can i i was not able to imagine what is happening with me then i realized this word now i am realizing this word i was just focusing on winning getting featured on the poster i became cosmetic those months i did not found the real crux i did not got the real traits or real characteristics of those months when you got hit sixes when you are a world greatest bowler and you get hit sixes by the tail end or by the 11th number batsman to feel for the ball right i'm the number one number one bowler in the world and the number 11th player of the other team is getting sixes against me to feel that yes you are a cosmetic bowler right we have an impromptu session coming up the table topic segment i may call uh, before that let us have the ballot for the speaker who is the best speaker yes and you also have to share the feedback to the respective speakers also and in the due process let us not waste the time and let us call our table topic master who is master pooja bodeja our sadhana dam And just a little advice to all of you: Do not hesitate or do not feel hit up in raising your hand. And it's my own wish that one after the another, there should be raise of hands like this. Just go for it. Do not feel angry or be get anxious. Just go for the presence and that we are programmed to be anxious. Nobody will be judged here. Just go ahead, raise your hand, and let out your inner content. You may go ahead. Thank you so much, Host Master Rashin. Hello everyone once again. Where well, today's table topic segment is going to be very exciting. Obviously because I am the table topic master. <laughs> no, not because of that reason. But uh, table topic segment is exciting because the guests. This is the only segment where guests can participate. So I highly request uh, and suggest that uh, guests, both on physical and virtual stage, should definitely try uh, participating and get the feel of how impromptu speaking works. And uh, so, table topic is basically where you will be given a topic, and you will have to speak in front to then and there. You have to make up a story, or if you have some made-up stories, you can talk about that. Um, how table topic has helped me? I'll keep it short. Uh, well, I am somebody I could not even speak for 10 seconds, 20 seconds, and uh, at least I don't know if I make sense or I don't make sense sometimes. But I manage whenever I raise my hand, I do manage to speak for a minute, a minute and a half. And that is, that itself is an achievement for me. So definitely, this is a very important segment which can really help you all to improve on your uh, communication as well as the uh, impromptu speaking skills. With this, I would like to call out the first speaker. Anyone else? You can give preference to the guest. Ah, uh, sure. But before we uh, call the guest, I would like to call upon the experienced speaker. तो 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 � Thank you, Dose Master Pooja, and hello, hello, for, hello, for Dose Master. Uh, my name is Raghav, and uh, I do remember one person who who has a very good vocabulary, who who can who speak who speak language English language even better than maybe maybe in the best of the speakers or best of the leaders. But one day, he got, like all others, like a normal human being, he he got nervous due to he due to giving a speech on uh, on a very big uh, large stage, large stage, and those stage, and and those uh, 
and the audience of those were the chief chief minister of uh, delhi and uh, some other pa pa parliamentarian indian parliamentarian and he was being and he was being pesky pedestrian about a uh, about uh, about the uh, about his about about uh, the speeches that he was trying to give like even he knew, and when i asked about him why he was uh, why he was using so much so what happened to you why were you using such words that even i that even i don't know that even you don't know he said it it's just it just uh, you know it comes automatically it, i become nervous it's not because uh, i was a very uh, i was a i mean Uh, it's not because that uh, it's not because that I got nervous because of these great people. Yeah, guys, I got nervous because I have a I have a fear of getting failed. I have a fear of getting judged by these people. And and due to this thing, my my speech that I have practiced hundred times got got uh, got got spoiled due to this. And uh, maybe, uh, maybe like uh, the topic that has been used by uh, that has been used by the to to toastmaster, uh, the toastmaster presumer. This relates to it. So thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Master. Uh, next we have uh, guest. Would you like to try, please? <laughs> Yes, this question. Yeah. Uh, so the topic for you is: Are you a good leader? Hmm. Hello, fellow toastmasters. Am I a good leader? Well, I would like to think it that way. But yeah, for showing leadership skills, I need to communicate it to my team, right? And there I struggle. So yeah. i may be a good leader from within but outside i may be a charismatic leader if that means any sense but yeah i'm nervous and anxious so uh, i'm not thinking to whatever i'm saying uh, thank you thank you thank you have time so on these are the words that i including in my speech so i don't have stuff to say uh another step i have also done a master that trained people in leadership but then again i have marked up all the courses and uh, just did my mba ah uh, so yeah i am one of the rarest of the rare people in my batch who has been this anxious and had Consulted solutions for panic attacks and stuff, but I'm proud of uh, the achievement that I have repeatedly tried to join those masters and come to meetings and hopefully uh, would love to make progress in my speaking skills. And thank you. You know your weakness, and you're trying to overcome it. That's itself a uh, step forward, I think. Next, I think if I don't call Toastmaster this week, I'll be out of the team. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't have a choice. Toastmaster this week, please. <laughs> Which is your favorite role in Toastmaster? The best role I believe in Toastmaster is the role of the team owner. Uh, for me, it is a role where I discover myself. A role where I try to improvise a lot. So what happens is mostly I try to make my roles just before the meeting, maybe one or two days back. Now what happens is that when you're finding a theme for the Toastmaster meeting, you have it very clear that it has to go around leadership, communication, management, and everything else. But the problem is to give it a touch that it looks like okay, this is actually given it. So, for example, the last theme I gave was chasing the stars. So, basically, always doing some sort of innovation, even in the theme selection and the theme uh, theorization, the 
coming on this stage, improvising is something I always look for. Though table topics is the sub, is the platform where we normally say ki it is a platform for the improper speeches, but I always believe that if you are on the key mod, I believe the maximize uh, improvisation comes on that particular role. You may have a theme, you have this and that uh, stuff already ready on your farm. But once you come on the stage, there are certain points where you got to speak impromptu. It's pretty simple. Like for example, I remember I was having a, uh, I was having this opportunity to have uh, someone's speech on the floor. So he was speaking of, I guess, uh, how some of his past memories had created a psychological effect on him by being a leader. So I remember coming on the stage, uh, leaving some material of mine that I had left and then speaking something that he had said. So basically, whatever you are hearing on the speech, whatever is happening on this uh, floor or on this particular session, you are making a speech out of it. I remember I was coming on the stage, a bottle fell down. I came on the stage and I said, that's how I was before joining Growth Masters. So every single thing, we can draw philosophy from it. So being a person who loves poetry, I really believe that's something I've got a philosophical touch to all these speeches. So that's all from my side. Thank you, and over to the people. Before I call upon the next speaker, can I please request everyone to put your phone on silent? I hope you all have already done it. Um, so next. Anvesh on the virtual stage. Sure. So can we have next uh, guest Anvesh on the virtual stage? Uh, guest Anvesh, the topic for you is who is your favorite public speaker? Your favorite public speaker, guest Anvesh. Thank you, Toastmaster. This is guest Anvesh. Uh, so my topic is uh, as uh, who is my favorite public speaker. Uh, believe or not, uh, it is purely a coincidence that I some few days back I was uh, working on this question. It's true that I was working in, on this question that who is my favorite public speaker. And uh, it is also a fact that I, at certain point, I narrowed it down to Andrew Tate as well. Although he is not the only one that I find uh, as the one public speaker, there are uh, various politicians, there are various actors, there are one of my favorite, Robert, uh, sorry, uh, Al Pacino is an actor. And I consider him to be one of the uh, number one public speaker. There are various, uh, it, it could be various, uh, it, it could be very uh, debatable that no, he is an actor and how can he be a public speaker? But be, being an actor, your first foremost job is between the publics. And over the uh, years that he has worked and the movies, the roles he has portrayed, I've narrowed down that Al Pacino, the greatest of great actor live, living today is whom I consider as the number one public speaker. And thank you, uh, that would be all from my part. Wonderful, that's all from my side. I hope I will not leave anyone in the lurch. With this, I would like to hand over the physical stage to the Gamer, to uh, Master of the Day, Toast Master Darshan. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, David Master. Uh, how many of you know the Big Four Consulting Giants? Can you, can you name? Yeah. Toast Master Raghav, can you name one? KPMC. Toast Master Raghav. Levi. <laughs> no, it is above top PWC. PWC. Like we have Deloitte, we have PWC, we have KPMG, and we have even. If a person is work, working in these four companies, what can be the level of that person? Can anyone answer that? On the on the scale of one to ten. Ten. We have, to, we have Toastmaster Rajiv on the virtual stage. Okay, yes, Toastmaster Rajiv, go ahead. So uh, one thing I can say for sure after interaction with these guys is that their life is kind of a hell because they work 24 into 7 and they have to be 
always on the toes of the line. So whenever they want you, you have to respond to them. So that's the, how the life of these uh, four uh, big firms that you talked about. So basically, my concern is that when you go to such big consulting firms, they they make you as rigorous as possible that you come out as the best out of it. They want the best out of it. They say that you will work eight hours a day or nine hours a day, but eventually you work fifteen hours a day. My CEO of Glassmade are working eighteen hours a day in EY Bangalore. Wow. Okay. In July, I was with them. Sorry? Sorry, you said who's somebody is working 18 hours a day? Uh, three of my classmates. Okay. They were with me in this July. I went to Bangalore. I left. I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't survive that environment. So, so am I correct in my statement? Am I correct in my statement that life is kind of a, all devoted to the work and no personal life? It's all work. Sorry, I'm not, I'm not letting you what you're saying. Like so what I'm saying is, yeah, please go ahead if somebody can. Uh, so what I'm saying is that their yeah, life yeah, is... There is no personal life. There is absolutely, if you're working 15 hours a day, there is no personal life. You're getting a, a little amount of sleep, you're getting a very, very small amount of sleep. It's not getting time to talk to others. You're just talking with your manager and just, just other than in your team. To whom you're talking? You know, Sundays they, they are also working. Can anyone name the small force? Those, those are the big force. Can anyone name the small force? We actually have a lot of companies out there. We cannot even make small phones. <laughs> if we are working in a small phone on the scale of one to ten, they will be our level. Condition, condition, our salary is below three lakhs per annum. Our level will be at on the scale of one to ten. Anyone? Three, two, two, three, three. Anyone else? Anyone else? Why? Why? This is something interesting. <laughs> the average employee can earn as less as uh, sixty thousand per No, I'm just talking about on the scale of one to ten. The the level of the employee. We can we can definitely elevate ourselves in the big four. Can we elevate ourselves in the small four? No. Simple answer no. Cosmetics. We are in we are in the home club of distinguished postmaster Deepak Manan, which is the biggest in this world. We shall be like that. We shall be like working in the EY. We shall be working a lot other than the other clubs. This is this club has been laid by the best in the world. Our level should be at that level. There was a time in 2016. Seven members from CDTM were in District 41. The highest number of members. In 2017, the, the, the number grew up to nine. Then some of the members left and it came down. We have to think that are we becoming a cosmetic postmaster? Do we have that intent or growing ourselves as a member or as an executive committee? Are we pushing forward? Are we working in a small world or are we behaving like a big four giant? Our attitude should also change. We are working in EY. We are EYN, we are Deloitte, we are CT mind. Our level should be at that level. Somebody think you are a Toastmaster? No, I am a Toastmaster from Central Delhi Toastmasters Club. The club of distinguished Toastmasters Deepak Manan. People struggle to get his phone number. <laughs> I still remember the speech from our district director of uh, distinguished Toastmaster Ankur Yadav. He was so keen to meet Deepak Manan. He was not able to meet Deepak Manan. He became the DTM. After that, we have that he met this person. I came to this club after a week. I was talking to him. He himself called me. Such privilege we are. And uh, one more thing that I would like to quote about him. That is one of the uh, meeting he was my evaluator. And he called me very advanced, just two times. That 
anything specific you want to get evaluated. Yes. Just to get a level of commitment at this stage. So he yes. is not required to do so. Even I will never do so. But the level of commitment he asked me this is your project, anything specification, and the detailed evaluation. That was a highlight, and that's why he is. Very easy.
Well, no man ever steps in the same river twice, for it's not the same river, and he's not the no more the same man. Well, the development of a person from one person to the other person, from one communicator to the other communicator, is immensely developmental and shows the chart of how he needs to take the steps in future. The development that's seen in him is remarkable every single day. But things like his gestures while he was saying, the content was really interesting, which shows intimacy of the content or the potential for introspection. It carries interest. When he was saying, the more we go deeper, the more we reach to ourselves. So usage of hands at a great moment is something I found in his speech. So therefore, great body language and gestures. He always had a purposeful movement from one part of the speech speaking area to the other part of the speaking area. Well, this conveys not only confidence, but also connection with the composition of the speech. Let me also tell you, the speech was completely incomplete, not the same. The comfort level that he showed all while he was saying uh, all his uh, sermons, I would rather say, taking inspiration from the web series he had all seen, shows again that there was a lack of nervousness in his personality while he was speaking. The audience awareness throughout his speech was truly remarkable because everyone was listening every single word. And most importantly, having again the what the president had said, talking to the audience, one-on-one -on -one conversation. So eye contact with every single member is something he maintained. So let's give him a big clap for all of us. So even in Toastmasters, we always believe in taking the next step ahead, taking the next step of the ladder. There are some things which can actually work. For example, voice modulation, variety, and clarity. For example, when you say <laughs> lower down your voice, you would have actually lowered down your voice at this particular moment when you are saying introspection. Introspect answer. So therefore, when you are speaking normally on a higher tone to show the importance of the particular step that you have just mentioned, and you put your heart on the heart to show introspection. So therefore, it has both a symbolic value at the same time you're lowered in the box. So important to well carry out. Second one, whether I have given speak to an older one, you speak it in a normal voice. Again, simply low down your voice. Or maybe when you've actually given your speak to a low one. So it conveys importance. If you're normally speaking on a, a higher tone, lower tone you conveys importance. If you're normally speaking on a lower tone, higher tone. So these are the three characters people to work. Unable to recall the same thing. I think we just say that on the speech. It's not necessary. Rather, we can say things which are necessary because the audience doesn't know. And my takeaway of being very honest with you, the solutions are always inside and you know, outside. If we need to go outside, go inside. Summary. Commendation gestures, use of speaking area, comfort level, interest, and recommendation thing, what modulation and better language is possible. Thanks. Mr. Postmaster. And evaluation reminds me of the thing that we have our opinion, we have it gives an opportunity for us to express our opinion. I think you can have some time. You can take some time. So let's express our opinion for the best table topics of speaker in this meeting. Chips are right there. You can just post your. Can you hear the name, please? Who are the ones? Master Lagar, please raise your hand. Yes, Shivkesh. Shivkesh. Toastmaster Rithik. Toastmaster Rithik. And guest Andresh on the virtual speaker. Andresh. Let's take one minute. 
Sign up, please show me card after one minute. Sign up, please show me one uh, 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 red card after one minute. Okay, let's speed it up a little bit fast. So let's move on to our next evaluator, Toastmaster Irvin, for presenting this question. Thank you very much, GE. <clears throat> what a fabulous speech that we heard today. Um, I think there are a few speeches that we, we listen and we go home, and there are a few speeches which gives us food for thought. We go back to our home and we think about the issue. It's such a such a grave issue that our children are facing these days, and they have. It, it seems like they don't have mobile. They have something warm in, hand, in their hands, which is killing us slowly, slowly every day. I love the way Toastmaster Rashmi delivers her speech. She always inspires me uh, with her speech titles and the way she delivers her speech. I love the topic uh, and the way she describes the obsession with the cell phone, abusive language, drug addiction that all being happening in the school in these days, which is a great, huge amount of concern for all the parents and all the generation which is coming forward. She has great body language, great pauses, confidence was there, clarity, gesture, comfort level, everything was on top notch. Uh, well, I was entire, the entire time I was thinking, what could I, if I could make a flow out of her speech, if I could, I could, and finally I, I, I tried to find something, I won't say it's a flaw, but it's just a, uh, uh, just to challenge the speaker. Uh, the only thing that I would suggest is the way she calls, uh, engage the audience by calling them on stage. Uh, with an open-ended question, I think she should avoid it. Rather than calling with an open-ended question, she could uh, ask the audience in a in a close-ended question, like yes, no, or one or two word answers, something like that. It wasn't bad at all, but the way uh, uh, she has to, uh, in order to save the time, she has to stop the speaker. It just it just deviates the listener. Uh, the way the listeners looked at it. So I felt a little deviated at that point of time. Apart from that, it was great. Also, uh, the objective is to deliver the speech in front of the unfamiliar audience. So unfortunately, we all have seen faces that we're bringing every day here, uh, apart from the uh, guests today. So the objective was partially met. Apart from that, everything was great. What are, the best thing about uh, the speaker is when she come up on stage, uh, there is a connection between the speaker and the audience. And that's why we all come physically present there. And she's able to have that present, that connection, being online. So she has such a great screen present. So I would like to commend her. Overall, it's a great speech. I enjoyed it. I loved it. And it's inspiring. Thank you very much. Over to you. So friends, what I have seen is we have a club of inspirational members. And one of the most inspirational members is the one also whom I'm about to call next. Not because of just because of the position, but also because of the thing that a true leader always has to admit in case if they are vulnerable. So, help me welcome on the screen the VP member VP Education of our club, Toastmaster Navya. Thank you, General Evaluator. Uh, my speaker, Toastmaster Presume, delivered his level one project speech on the title Learning. 
started his speech with uh, the learning that he has gained in past six months, and I have personally been in his leadership. I have worked under him, and I have seen that how he has. If I talk about when we started this term in July, and now he has. I have seen him grow as a leader, and I have personally experienced that that his leadership skills have improved a lot. So that is what he talked about in his speech, and it was very honest because I personally experienced it. Now talking about particularly speech, so the tone of throughout his speech, the vocal variety was very clear, Chris. There were few, uh, he uh, he used his vocal variety so clearly that uh, there were instances when he used high pitch, there were instances when he used low pitch. So it was clearly depicted when, uh, in his delivery. And the best part was uh, the body language that he showed. There was there was proper usage of hand gestures, uh, expressions, voice modulation. Everything was just perfect, and I couldn't find even a one recommendation in his speech. There was no fumbleness. The whole speech was extremely relatable to all the audience. And one thing that was the best part in his speech was the ending. There was a line that we will always find people and uh, communities and groups where we belong. If if there is a place where we feel uncomfortable and th at that moment we might feel that you, like this is not a place that I want to be at. But eventually in life you will find people who care about you, who who, who actually want you to grow. So we uh, that is what. I think the learning from his speech was, and uh, that's it. All the best for his speech. So, for evaluators, I will be coming at the part for my observations. Now, straight away marching towards our timer, Toastmaster Dhan is for his report. Toastmaster Dhan. Start with the DM Kanau. Uh, we take one minute and eleven seconds. So Toastmaster Vikan, one minute fifty one seconds. Toastmaster Navya, it was a sudden one, and she taken forty six seconds and forty six seconds in the initial part. And uh, the Joker DM Razo. It was very nice, and uh, even though taken, it, it, it was brevity is a soul of meat. There is a proverb in English, but you managed two minutes. It was a little higher height, but you managed with your reach. Now uh, next is T uh, M Angit. So he was a minute sharp, seven minutes. You taken seven zero zero. Uh, TM Reshmi, seven minutes and forty seconds. Uh, TM Pradyup, again seven minutes. Now coming to table topic. Uh, TM Raghav, one minute and fifty-two seconds. I don't know your name. Shivkesh. Shivkesh. Just Shivkesh, one minute and forty-seven seconds. And TM Rajiv, two minutes. Zero seven seconds. It crossed the border. Just uh, Anvesh, it is one minute and thirty-four seconds. And regarding the speech evaluators, TM uh, Rishvi, uh, three three minutes thirty seconds. So cross. TM Arvind, uh, three minutes. So and uh, TM uh, Navya, one minute and fifty-seven seconds. Okay, very uh, everyone was. Uh, sticking to time. So. Wait, Kanan. Wait, Kanan. You will have your time. Kanan, wait. You will have your time. So here I am going for. Let me call it for the ballot for best evaluator for the meeting. And meanwhile, let me also share with you all about the report of the parliamentarian donning the hat of a parliamentarian. So, 
speaking about the rules i believe all the rules were adhered to properly except three instances there were two instances out of these three instances for violation of mobile phone so if we can just be little bit more aware that it might disturb the meeting so we can just switch off the we can just put the phone on silent and secondly there was one interruption in the meeting and that interruption was in the online mode that interruption i understand was the need of hour but if we can have a proper coordination that interruption might not have happened because i noticed the one or one member was just raising the hand that okay another person is talking going to talk why that member raised the hand and interrupted in the meeting because there was no proper coordination which we can work upon so this is the end of my report as parliamentarian and along during the help of general evaluator help me welcome on the screen the person who has word who is wearing two hats today toast master karnam as our counter and language evaluator for the meeting so it was a really good meeting and lot of good active language uses but i would say i don't prefer you i would prefer the message than the language so the message was to us uh, good, good first being cosmetic don't be a cosmetic leader second <coughs> don't be a cosmetic leader be present in situation and second speech was about how kids get influenced by drugs and extra third well then you present the report so so toastmaster puja uh, took 2 hours toastmaster navya took 4 hours uh, toastmaster raghav 2 hours uh, and toastmaster avin took 2 hours and the word of the day was used 3 times and the idiom of the day was used 9 times Thanks for the report, Postmaster. Sir, now let me call on the screen one of the most uh, sought after roles in a Postmaster's meeting. That's the listener for the meeting, Postmaster Navya. we have some five questions and since we are running a little late starting with the first question uh, so in those masters on the speech what was the meaning that he depicted for leading the lord please tell me that the lord ha it was introspective what was the Changes that the uh, students have started to face after Corona, according to Prof. Master uh, Rashmi Sri, Mr. Uh, Raghav. Own addiction, ability language, using ability language and drug addiction. Yes. Uh, the third question is, what is that one different, uh, uh, I would say, element that Prof. Master Rashmi adds in his speeches? except those not to poetry yes it was uh, related to poetry so the particular line what he said was he had the philosophical touch in his speech uh, relating it with the poetry so uh, <laughs> uh, then the fourth question is what was your unbeat uh, uh, favorite public speaker mm -hmm. Yes. The last question is: 
what is toastmasters uh, respect favorite uh, toastmasters meeting do Yes, correct. That's exactly. Now I am presenting my report as general evaluator. In the meantime, we can vote for the best auxiliary role player. As per general evaluator report, it is very commendable that Sajid has come to start the meeting on time. But I noticed that the Sajid has come. was little bit reserved as the gesture most of the time were clasping one <coughs> and this signifies a not this is a not so good gesture either you can let in case if you are not using your hand you can just let your hand hang and speak apart from this toastmaster of the day involved all of all each and every one in the starting but i noticed that he stretched the introduction too much so i suggest that for the team specifically for not just the current tmod but for all the other tmod also in the future they can just give the central message one central message that they have to tell in the introduction and take two three points and explain those two three points so a structured approach will shorten up the time next uh i suggest that timer could have prepared a little bit better the introduction part then the another observation that i noticed was those master of the day was having the hands in the pocket It shows a reserved uh, gesture that okay, I am not going to share with anyone else. So maybe just you can avoid that. It might be a conscious thing. Let's have a little bit of clap also. So just let your hand hang if you are not doing anything else. Or let it be a little bit more. So it is also by involving others. By involving others. Next, uh, technical coordination. I think I have spoken about it earlier in the parliamentary uh, report. Then, uh, most of the evaluators didn't pronounce the evaluation object. An evaluation objective is really required because it prepares every member in the audience regarding what the speech is going to be about. It is a very important thing. Apart from you might be quoting moons, the stars, etc., but it, at the end of the day, it's the most important thing. I know it. I am saying specifically, so I know it. So. Apart from this, most of the almost all the key instances, Toastmaster of the day didn't know the speech title. I suggest that prior to the meeting, Toastmaster of the day make it a point to talk to everyone for their title and make it a point to note it down properly so that they can pronounce it in a proper way. Then, uh, speaker number three uh, was uh, really commendable. I can use my prerogative as general evaluator to make this mention that speaker number three. Admitted about the vulnerability. A speaker and as well as a leader, when admits the vulnerability level, it strengthens their credibility. Not just in Toastmaster, but abroad, uh, outside Toastmaster. Next, Toastmaster table topic master started the session on a light note. That's a really commendable thing. However, I suggest that she can implement. The active listening project that is mentioned in the level three of the presentation must be pathway in the elective as the first elective project. This is not just a pathway project. This is also a project which can actually help every table topic master in making table topic session memorable. <coughs> Then. Uh, Toast Master Raghav, I really appreciate you for handling the restrictions very well. Then, Toast Master of the day, just last two minutes, 
of my report please bear with me those master of the day can work on handling the disruptions however he did well but i believe in case if there are any disruptions he can do much better by looking at the level for project in elective for managing the difficult audience then uh, entire time one of the uh, key observations that i made was entire and most of the entire time he uh, the two smarts of the day kept his uh, focus upon just only one person that he wrote about but uh, while we can also hear about all the rest four of the people in the meeting so it's not just that we are most of the content we are putting for one person what like should be equal for everyone because everyone's coordination uh, cooperation was really great then evaluation uh, i have three observations first uh, uh, i have to insert observations first was i suggest to all the evaluators to look at the evaluation and feedback project in level 1 project four while before coming to the meeting so that they can use i statement i statement is specifically mentioned in the past phase and it is actually one of the things i should not quote about it here because for judges we have our own criteria but many times the many times winning and losing an evaluation contest becomes a parameter on using i statement and apart from this last but not the least but the important one also uh, for one of the evaluators i suggest don't express your opinion on the topic the topic that they are in this speech but express your opinion on the way it was being delivered if you have your own talk your own in opinion on any topic talk to the vice president education Uh, register a speech talk so your not just the own opinion of the on the topic but opinion on the performance overall that's the end of my report and back to the group my subject <laughs> Thank you so much, Dr. Master Divan, for the wonderful, remarkable, and critical evaluation for every one of us. So, we have come to the last. We have come to the eventually the end of the meeting. So, was 275 work in today's meeting? I'll go one by one. Dr. Master Divan, what did you learn in today's meeting? I learned Any one the, one of the things that. Many times it, we should leave room for improvement. We should leave room for improvement. Wonderful, Mr. Captain. I realize in today's meeting that I tend to speak a lot of things. I need to remove. Next, so both of these values I have learned that shuttle train is good. Please translate that to the English. It really means that don't go to your seat. Let's go to the house. Yeah, next. I learned that to keep the main point between the middle side and the top. I learned that there is no ending of learning. It's just you can't get to the perfection. You just keep getting better and better. Answer. Uh, I used to struggle in my presentation during COVID days. So for me, it's the level uh, after this we have in life. I learned it's important to be vulnerable to discover your best side. Next, next. Nothing. That's all done. Yeah, I'm really excited about the speech. I want to mention again, but there is something to learn from that. It's a scientific topic. I, I'm interested in. And I, I will take my time going home. So you think for the what he mentioned was a fight of fight, fight of fight was born. Right? Okay, so we, uh, how very we are anxious. So that is a scientific topic. I am very fascinated by it. 
he he is seem to be really inspired by yeah, yeah. captain suddenly that story i mentioned now very sir one very important thing you said and you observed it name meant for a babu virat kohli part of it what was specific about them specific is that these persons name is sufficient if we have a star in the club star does not mean that navesh is star or amit is star you we need to build that kind of communicator to let other person from other club come to our club just listen us so today that person speech is there we need to do so if we can build that kind of status that kind of can uh, uh, then that day we can say that this is for uh, dtm people means from the virtual stage uh, do we have someone to share Yeah, Toastmaster Rajiv and Lavdekar Vij. Yes, Toastmaster Rajiv, what learnings did you had in today's meeting? Uh, Toastmaster Rajiv is on mute. Okay. Is he on mute? Yeah. So, so can you hear me? <laughs> so the learning is that you know the uh, you know it's always a lifelong continuous learning process and you know I. i genuinely feel that you know no matter what you just make yourself available at any given point of time come in any part of the life like either you are coming to the club or you know going for a dance class or anything just the one thing the message i would like to say is like just be consistent in your approach and i'm sure you will reach the path that you are looking for so from today's meeting the lesson is that you know uh, at every given point of time life is all about being a student and learning from each and every experience of the life thank you okay and guest avinash would you like to share a one liner or guest anvesh guest anvesh i'm sorry guest anvesh would you like to share something uh obviously sir uh, i learned that uh, we should uh, speak how much is asked otherwise people will get bored wow this is something <laughs> keep your learning and keep the feedback to yourself and ponder upon it. think of it introspect on it which can be a remarkable thing now people are thinking why the four five names are there elections are coming now the next meeting is election i want to switch to the the person as a starting party the past president of pgtm in covid lockdown pgtm was reduced to less than the number the, the members in the club were less than x form i would i do not know uh, i won't be naming the month or the people were there but this person was working also this person took those amount of members those number of members to the multiple 5 of 7 What is multiple five of seven? Thirty-five. Thirty-five. Less than X form. Within just span of four months, I was the I was the one person in that that came to the club, and there were many others like me. The remarkable thing that he did was the intent that he showed at that time, the leadership that he showed. There were lot many presidents are there, lot many executive committee members are there in the club and in other clubs too. So what is special about Karthik Patel was the intent that he that he had shown at that time. Many people will get down. Let us close the club. Club has less than the numbers of in the X form. And do you know one thing? One more thing. There was another club. He was a club coach of that club. That club had five members. The so five members. Was grown to twenty five, uh, multiple of five, and that too in COVID period. That too in COVID period. Because there were so many clubs, there were so many options available. Cost effective options were available. Yes. Even I did. I had doubt that how I was going to survive. Even I was not very aware that. I think maybe two three months I could not attend the meeting. But there that how will he do it? I did not believe that he will do it, but somehow he did it. This is a remarkable thing that 
people come in those masses and do this i read kartik vaidya higher than dtms he is not a dtm higher than district directors higher than regional governors higher than the people working in the headquarters international headquarters in in us because what is actually great for them is defined your character is defined the type of person you are in the reflection that is defined by your work in the volunteer organization because for money you are doing for something you are doing a corporate or doing a teacher or whatever profession you are in your school college friend whatever you are doing in volunteer organization you getting nothing in those must be getting nothing do we get paid for this no. mr president do you get paid for this no mr vp do you get paid for this no. none of the executive committee none of the district officers none of the people get paid for this we need them higher why do we need them higher we have number one batsman number one fourth person in the world who is number two do we know who is number two they can be steve smith they can be joe root they can be some other guy they can be rohit sharma they can be anyone there are so many number two there is only number one you know we have shahrukh khan the intent that this person has shown in the pretty nitty where there was no chance for the person like tv actor at that time he started off with the tv he yeah, have the circus whatever that today we have health on actors are there we appreciate them yes we have three of the khan but why shahrukh khan is so special whenever we talk about the fan following whenever we talk about the romance when we talk about the love the affection the intent to grow more the courage to show more after having so many flops in 5 years this guy is again coming out of the blockbuster in the next next year he is number one he shown that all that we don't have has time to become number one we don't want to become number one but at least we can appreciate as then that we are in the organization we should adapt according to the organization we should not we should not behave according to ourselves doctors in the covid period they were like working 24 hours a day we have uh, a doctor doctor irish a past member the army veteran who was working for so many hours during during the covid period why Yes, he was getting paid, but the thing is, he was volunteering. Volunteering, he was doing at the COVID time. The character is defined by the person who is doing his best in the volunteering. Elections are coming. Pledge yourself. Take a pledge. Whosoever will become the captain, whosoever will will take the ship forward, should do that meticulously, diligently. take all those words of the english that can affect you not affect that can affect you that can take your level from there to here elevate yourself as create yourself think for this very own club we are the members we are members of ev i think as we are we are in ev don't think we are we are just a small person it's here is always here not here we think from here now we have to think from here when we think from here that yes we want to become we want to get on the top we will definitely get on the top ctm has a lot to offer to the district 41 we should be the first club today there are many clubs they are offering lot but whenever there is something that the quality comes from that is from the ctm we should be the first person we should be the first people in the district in the region in the international yes we have to offer the person the people the members who have gained we should share one thing is that when we speak as a speaker when we give evaluation we are giving out the content we are, we are giving out the content we are saying out our words our things in the mouth do you know we should share what is sharing of content can you understand what is sharing of content can anyone say has raised your hand what is sharing yes please so smartly whatever i think i want to make it very uh, short short way of making the same thing think for the other person it can be to any to body language gesture or any sharing of content is that 
you have got benefited from that content and you want the other person to also get benefited from that content the quality content irrespective if you are speaking in within the time limit or not if the content has some value addition in your life take it creating an impact creating an impact take general evaluation as life defining moment for yourself you are defined you are respected in the general evaluation segment in the evaluation segment the real you the real you is that get is that your evaluation so that is why i asked you the first one keep your learning for today's meeting keep your feedback for today's meeting to yourself on the phone well i hope you like the session and at that said uh, let us hand over the stage back to our captain the master president without any further ado i would now like to launch uh, our the tech possible launch of both the best role player I would also like to take a moment to announce that in, in the come, upcoming meeting we are having the election. It is very important and crucial for each and every member of the class to be present in the elections meeting, as we need a forum for the elections to be valid. So make sure that everyone attends the upcoming election meeting, as your vote matters. But more important than that, it is very important for each and every one today present over here to stand up for some vote in the election. It is as they say, when life gives you gives you lemon, you look at life in the eye and tell it that's all you got. <laughs> so, who do you think was the best speaker for the day? Was it Toastmaster Ankit? Was it Toastmaster Rajesh? Was it Toastmaster Sanjay? Toastmaster Sanjay. Thank you. It is me, indeed. <laughs> Having certificates this time, so we will do with that. We will be sending the CE certificates to all the winners digitally. Who do you think was the best evaluator? Was it Toastmaster Rizek? Was it Toastmaster Arvind? Or was it Toastmaster Navya? It was Toastmaster Rizek. <laughs> Who do you think was the best of the roles there? Who do you think was the best of the roles there? Was it a parliamentary Toastmaster Pagan? Was it a language related and our counter Toastmaster Kana? Was it a joke master Toastmaster Naga? Or was it a listener of the day Toastmaster Naga? Toastmaster Naga or Toastmaster Naga? It was indeed, it was a joke master of the day Toastmaster Naga. Who do you think was the best? Table topic speaker. Was it Toastmaster Raghav Sud? Was it guest Shivkes? Was it guest Anvesh? Or was it Toastmaster Rizik? It was Toastmaster Rizik. Last but not the least, who do you think was the best role player? Was it our team or Toastmaster Darshan? Our general evaluator Toastmaster Rizik? Or was it our table topic master Toastmaster Pooja? It was our team or Toastmaster Darshan. I request the guests to stay till the end for guest sleeping. I hereby conclude the meeting.